Over the last half century, Earth's atmosphere has been altered as a result of rapid industrialization. Excessive emission of greenhouse gases has also increased average global temperature, leading to global warming and climatic shift. While this climatic change affects lives and livelihoods across the world, its impact is greatest on the rural poor, especially those households living in areas frequently subjected to natural calamities. Like many poor developing countries, Pakistan is a victim of climate change rather than a contributor, with its per capita emission of greenhouse gases falling far below the global average. The effects of climatic shift are being felt in many sectors and in and across the ecosystems with adverse impacts on natural resources and the livelihoods that they support. Pakistan is prone to a range of natural catastrophes, including cyclones, floods, droughts, intense rainfall, and the earthquakes. Nearly half of the country's population is subjected to multiple disasters. This effect is predicted to be amplified following the current patterns of climatic changes. Evident variation in patterns of precipitation, storms, floods, and droughts are being observed. These factors are reaching new locations and places which have not previously experienced them. The coast of Sindh, Pakistan stretches for some 350 kilometers along the Arabian Sea. This coast is divided into two parts the Indus Delta system and the Karachi coastline. Badin, a district with a population reaching well over a million people, lies in the Indus Delta system, with the coast of the Arabian Sea at the lower end. The primary lifeline of these communities is fishing. In the recent past, the people of Badin derived huge benefits from this domestic industry, but they no longer enjoy the rich yield from these natural resources. Fish yields have decreased from up to 120 kilograms per person per day to five to six kilograms per person per day. Income from this resource has fallen significantly and communities must migrate temporarily to agricultural areas in northern parts of Badin to work as labor. Union Council Bugra Meman is the lowest lying area of the district and is situated along the coast of the Arabian Sea. Due to the intrusion of seawater, flooding has occurred more frequently, which has affected the natural environment of the area. The soil has become saline, and villagers can no longer grow crops on these plots of land, which now lie barren. Close dependence of the rural poor on natural resources makes them most vulnerable to climatic propositions which can destroy the natural base of an area. Because of the seawater intrusion and deposits of seawater inland, freshwater ponds have been separated by huge expanses of seawater. Freshwater lakes, previously reachable by land, can now only be accessed by power motorboats. Only a handful of fishermen have the resources to own or rent a motorboat in order to catch prawns. Women have always been the prime initiators of the socio-economic development of rural communities and do much of the agricultural, livestock, and domestic work. Earlier villages were set up near freshwater reservoirs and these rural women used to fetch water from these nearby resources. 
Presently, they have to travel five kilometers or more just to bring fresh water for household activities. This can take as much as four hours of their day, the most important slot of the day. Years ago, women did needlework as they always had time, even after taking care of all the daily activities. But now, since they must spend four hours daily just to fetch fresh water, they are left with no time to do any extra production to generate extra income. A strange uncertainty pervades these poor coastline communities, a fusion of present grief and future fears. They wonder what has changed their natural habitat and simple lives. What was their part in creating this rising threat? Will such questions remain unanswered or with answers they don't yet fully understand? With their lives at stake, they pray and try to fight ever-growing impacts of global warming. <laughs>